hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video we are going to talk about the relationship of stress and normal strain so in this video i-introduce ko sa inyo guys yung dalawang concept natin which is the normal strain and yung modulus of elasticity so let's consider this figure guys no when you apply a load on a certain material normally it will deform okay so nag-apply tayo ng load dito sa let's say hanging uh, steel bar Okay, hanging steel uh, round bar siya. Nag-apply tayo ng load. Normally, a material will behave in such a way that it will deform. Okay, magde-deform siya in this deformation. Ito makita natin dito. Humaba yung material natin because the load is tension. Now, if the load is compression, of course, ang material natin ay liliit ang kanyang length. Okay, so this is the original length. L, after applying a load, mag-elongate siya at a certain distance. Ito yung symbol for elongation. Now, uh, how do you compute for that deformation? Okay, let's go back to our concepts. Now, previously, on my previous videos, guys, na-discuss ko yung stress. Okay, yung stress is just your force per unit of area. Now, introduce ko sa inyo, guys, yung dalawa nating uh, concept here, which is the modulus of elasticity. This is the modulus of elasticity and it's also called Young's modulus okay Young's modulus etong elasticity natin modulus of elasticity is the stiffness of the material okay introduce ko naman sa inyo guys yung other uh, concept dito yung ating strain okay yung strain it's given by this uh, Greek letter epsilon ito yung tinatawag natin na strain strain is just the ratio of that elongation Okay, yung change of length ng material divided by its original length. Ang modulus of elasticity naman, ma-formulate natin yung concept niya or yung formula niya using our stress strain diagram. Okay guys, so yung stress strain diagram naman, now using the stress strain curve, okay, stress, uh, yung y-axis, stress, yung ating x-axis is the strain, okay? Normally, under load, a material will behave like this, okay? Medyo ano siya, uh, straight line. Kasi under loading, habang lumalaki yung stress natin, of course, of course, there is a tendency for this material to actually fail or mapuputol siya. But here, focus muna tayo sa concept ng modulus of elasticity. At this point to this point, yung stress strain magbehave siya in a linear manner. Okay, now the slope of this, kaya siya tinawag na stiffness of the material because the slope of this line here, Focus muna tayo dito no? sa uh, linear, elastic, uh, linear deformation muna tayo. Ibig sabihin, yung stress strain curve natin mag-behave siya linearly. Okay, ganyan yung curve niya. Now, ang slope nitong line is the stiffness of the material. Now, that stiffness is what you call the modulus of elasticity. Now, i-formulate natin yung formula. Now, if the modulus of elasticity is the slope of your stress strain curve, Okay, kung ma-recall natin, ang slope, ang formula niya sa geometry is rise over run or yung y over x natin. Now, dito, yung y natin is s, stress, then yung ating x is strain. So, therefore, this is the formula for finding your modulus of elasticity. That is just the stress divided by the strain. Okay, so if we formulate natin yung formula for elongation... Okay, itong formula for elongation in terms of these uh, concepts. Ito, here, you have this equation. We have this equation and we have this equation. Let's formulate the formula for finding the elongation. Kasi usually guys, sa mga problem, ang hinahanap natin is the elongation of that material under a certain load. Now, the formulas are, okay, yung formulas natin is stress equals F over A. Then, yung ating strain, that is your elongation per original length. Then, yung ating modulus of elasticity is just your stress over strain. Okay, from this formula, okay, ang ating elongation is just your length times strain. Okay, but here, from this third equation, ang strain natin is just equal to your, transpose natin here, multiply tayo ng uh, epsilon or yung strain, then divide by modulus of elasticity. Therefore, yung ating strain is just equal to uh, stress divided by modulus of 
elasticity. So, papalitan lang natin to. So, this is just equal to L times S over E. Okay, so ito yung epsilon or yung strain natin. But since stress is just force over area, palitan natin siya ng F over A. So, L times F over A, okay, divided by E. So, multiply ng A to both sides. So, multiply ka ng A sa numerator, multiply ng A sa denominator. So, this gives you FL over AE. Okay, so this is the formula. This is the formula for the elongation. So, let's solve sample problems. So, mag-solve tayo guys ng problems to further understand this topic. So, we are going to solve two problems here regarding this topic. So, for the first problem, we have a steel wire, 30 feet long, hanging vertically, supports a load of 500 pounds. So, that's a load. That, so, basically, that's pound force. Neglecting the weight of the wire, determine the required diameter if the stress is not to exceed uh, 20 KSI and the total elongation is not to exceed 0.2 inch. So, assume E, the modulus of elasticity of steel in English units is 29 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. So, let's first illustrate the figure. So, that is hanging vertically. So, nakahang yung steel wire. Say, ito yung ating uh, ceiling. Nakahang siya dyan. Okay, nakahang yung ating uh, steel wire. So, this is 30 feet long. Lagyan natin ng mga dimensions. Okay, yung ating load is 500. That's 500 pounds. That's force. Okay, yung ating stress. Given tayo ng stress. That is 20 KSI. And yung ating modulus of elasticity is 29 times 10 raised to 6 PSI. So, yung ating elongation should not exceed 0.2 inch. Okay? Now, ang hinahanap natin dito guys is the required diameter. So, ano ba yung diameter natin para ma-withstand nya yung stress na 20 KSI as well as yung ating elongation na 0.20 inches. Okay? So, basically guys, makakahanap tayo ng dalawang diameter. Then, we, can, we should compare that diameters. Whichever is greater yun yung kukunin natin. Kasi the higher the diameter, the safer the design. Okay? So, basically, kukunin natin yung diameters. Ang design natin is based on stress. And another design is based on deformation. Dapat ma-meet niya yung dalawang requirements. So, let's solve for diameter. Now, for the diameter, using your stress, using stress, using stress. Okay. So, that is stress equals force over area. So, ang hinahanap natin dito guys, diameter. So, basically ang kanyang shape is yung surface niya dito is a circle. Okay. So, circle yung shape na dito. So, kung i-project natin dito that is just a circle. The area under contact is a circle. So, that is pi d squared over 4 area niya. If this is your diameter. Okay. Substitute natin siya dito guys. So, this is f over so, this is pi d squared over 4. So, this becomes 4f pi d squared. So, this is just, okay, s is equal to 4f over pi d squared. So, this is just uh, d squared equals, i-multiply natin both sides by d squared, then divide both sides by s. So, this becomes 4f over pi s. Uh, finding the square root of both sides, so d equals the square root of 4f over pi s. Okay, so that's the diameter. Now, ang force natin that is given by 500 pounds, yung force natin is eto, 500 pounds. So, f equals 500 pound force. Okay, so let's just substitute that here. So, d equals... The square root of, so 4 times, force natin is 500 pound force. Then yung ating, that is constant pi all over pi, times S. So yung stress natin is 20 KSI. Okay guys, that is 20 KSI. So 20 KSI. So i-convert natin to guys, no? i-convert natin siya. Because this is just pounds, this is kilo pounds per square inch. PSI. Okay, that is 1 KSI. Then, yung PSI na unit natin, guys, is just pound force per square inch. Pound force per square inch. Okay, that is per 
PSI. Okay, so that is the equivalent unit niya. So this cancels out here, PSI. KSI will cancel here. Then pound force will cancel out. Then yung inches squared, pupunta dun sa taas to simplify. Then square root of inches squared, ang unit niya is inches. This is D equal, so in inch ang kanyang unit. So let's solve for this. The diameter is 0 0.1784 inch. So this is based on stress, okay? So what if, if it's based on the elongation? Okay, let's solve for that diameter. Whichever is larger, yun yung kukunin natin because mas safe ang design if the diameter is larger. Ibig sabihin, kakayanin siya on both stress and in elongation. Okay, so ang elongation natin, formula tayo for elongation na nade-derive natin kanina, that is FL over AE. Okay, so F, that is L over, yung area is pi d squared over 4. So, times E. So, this becomes 4FL over pi d squared times E. And just simplify and find D in terms of all these variables. So, since the elongation is just equal to 4FL over pi d squared times E. So, therefore, d squared is just equal to, we have here 4FL over pi times E times the elongation okay you just uh, manipulate this equation okay so, so multiply d squared both sides divide by deformation both sides so d is just equal to the square root of 4 fl divided by pi times e times the elongation okay so this is our derived formula okay so d is equal to the square root of 4 times F. Ang F natin guys is 500 pound force. Okay, ang length natin, the length of the material from the given, ang length niya is 30 feet. Okay, that is 30 feet steel wire. So, this is 30 feet. Then, we have here pi. Then, yung ating modulus of elasticity for steel is 29 times 10 raised to 6, okay, PSI, times the given elongation. This is the permissible elongation. Ito lang yung dapat na elongation niya. So, that is times elongation. So, 0 0.2 inch. Okay, so let's analyze the unit. So, ito PSI. So, let's just change this to pound force. Okay, pound force per square inch. Okay, so ito naka-fit. Let's just change this to inch. Okay, so this is 12 inch per 1 foot. Okay, so this is a conversion. Okay, so ito mag-cancel na siya. Pound force will cancel out here. Okay, so ito cancel na dito. So ito cancel na din siya. Inch na lang to. Inch. But inch here, kasi mag-cancel dito, no? Inch. So inch times inch dito sa taas. That gives us inch squared. So, square root of inch squared. So, yung unit ito guys is inch. So, this D equals so inch. Let's just use your calculator to solve for the value. So, 4 times 500 times 30 feet times the conversion 12 inch per 1 foot. Then, all over pi times the modulus of elasticity. This is 29 times 6. Uh, times 10 raised to 6 times 0.2. Okay, so that's, so that gives us, so 0 0.1988 inch. Okay, so this is the other diameter that we have solved. Now, let's just compare. Now, yung ating naunang uh, diameter, guys, is 0 0.1784. So, ibig sabihin, yung ating diameter should be 0 0.1784 inch. Kaya niyang isustain yan. Now, based on maximum elongation, our diameter should be 0 0.1988 inch. So, therefore, ang kukunin natin na diameter, guys, is the larger diameter. So, this is the safe diameter. So, the bigger the diameter, the safer your design will be. Okay, so this is D equals so 0 0.1988 inch. So, this is the final answer for this first problem.